Welcome back to On Football. I am doing my 2016 football gear preview series. This video is going to be dedicated to Under Armour. If you've seen my other videos, you've heard this intro before. Doing different videos this year uh, to make the videos more easy to digest. Um, so this way you can watch each video depending on uh, which brand you want to see. So I'm only doing the bigger ones. Um, I've done Nike. Adidas, this one's going to be Under Armour, Riddell, Shut, Zenith, and uh, a few others. So uh, let's take a look at what is coming out for Under Armour in 2016. All right, let's start with this. We're going to talk about just the compression. I think some of you guys get confused uh, with the name of Under Armour's compression. So they're actually pretty clear on how they describe it. Um, right here it tells you cold gear is for below 55 degrees. Um, cold gear is for the cold. It doesn't keep you cold. Uh, all season gear is you can wear it pretty much all around, but it's for between 55 and 75 degrees. And then heat gear. Heat gear does not keep you warm. It's what you wear when you're hot. It's gear for the heat and you wear it but above 75 degrees. So that's what I would use during my football season over the summer. Um, it even says 75 to 100 degrees. Uh, or 100 plus so I would wear it in really warm weather and uh, I'd be fine with it um, Other things it talks about are storm one two and three storm one is water repellent Storm two is water repellent and windproof storm three is a uh, water repellent and windproof as well or waterproof I should say and windproof so storm three is going to be the ultimate um, Then it talks about some of the four-way stretch stuff. So I think that's enough for um, what's on this page now let's take a look at some of the other things coming out. They talk about the toughest jersey ever made. All the jerseys are getting pretty similar. Um, I reviewed the Adidas Tech Fit, one of my favorites, the Prime Knit. I have not reviewed the latest Nike, uh, which is an evolution of their former jerseys, or this jersey right here, Under Armour. So I, I might try to try to get this in um, so that uh, I can review it and compare it to some of the other brands. Um, but this one says incredible new football jerseys built with armor grid technology. That's a registered trademark for an armor uh, Strongest lightest most durable fabric in the game uh, That's a pretty big claim. So I want to see uh, how that is It says that super durable armor grid fabric is virtually impossible to grab uh, Pretty much all compression jerseys are almost impossible to grab so I'm not sure uh, how much better it's going to be than the competition then we're going to zoom past this stuff to some of their padded apparel right here. Uh, you guys have seen this too. Uh, it actually came out last year, or I should say earlier this year. Uh, this is the Under Armour 5 pad girdle um, in white and black. And uh, this one has five pads. You can see it, one, two, three, four, five, the one on the tailbone. Um, this is, I don't know if this is their latest one, uh, but they just came out with one, and I think it was actually more than $50, so that one was not in this guide. It says new here, uh, so maybe it is that one they're coming down in price, but we'll see what they've done with their upgraded girdle, if I can get one of those in. Um, this one is for youth. Uh, this is a six-pocket football girdle, so this is for uh, you to put all of your pads in, including a cup. So that's one, two, three, four, five is the tailbone pad, and then six is going to be the cup pocket. Uh, that one again is just going to be for youth. So now we're going to get to the fun stuff and look at some of the cleats. All this compression is stuff that they've had already before so it's actually a ton of stuff but I really just want to get to here. This page, this is a cleat. You can see Cam Newton right here. Um, what they're highlighting right here is the highlight, no pun intended. Uh, this is the UA Clutch Fit highlight. Um, it has the upper um, you guys have seen some of this this year. This, these came out, this design, a little bit in 2015. Um, so they're going to continue with it. Just some new colors here. They're all going to be white. Um, I imagine that they'll come up with other colors during the season. And then they've got the gold. The gold is hot. I've seen a couple of people with it. Um, I would like to get these in to test for you guys since I did not review this model of it in 2015. So let's see what else they have for us. Uh, this is going to be the Spotlight. Looks a lot like the Speed Form, which looked a lot like the Blur. So we'll have to see if they've really updated this. Uh, but it's going to have the same heel cup, the same heel counter, the same lightweight TPU plate, as well as uh, 
the same uh, comfort fit sock liner. So we'll have to see if it's really any different. I really don't know if it's if it's going to be or they just changed the design and changed the name. Uh, the gold is tight. I like the gold color here too. So I might try to get that in uh, to review for you guys. Typically, I haven't been a fan of the traction plate. I just don't get enough grip on it. Let's see if that uh, has improved. Now we go over here. Um, not feeling these. These are the new cams. I, the design from this year is much better. Not sure if 2016 is going to be um, any <laughs> any better. I really don't like this design, but maybe in person I, it, I might feel differently. This is the UA Spine. A uh, new design for this cleat, but the spine, you know, they had last year. And this is a new detachable cleat. Uh, this is the Fierce. So let's see what else Under Armour has coming out. Uh, from a cleat perspective, we'll zoom in here. And this is the Nitro Mid. Uh, this is the D, so that's our detachable cleats, the MC molded cleat, and then the Nitro Low. So this is going to be their more uh, budget version cleat, their lower end, the speed form, or uh, the speed cleat is going to be their, their higher form cleat, a higher tier cleat that's a little bit more expensive than the nitros. And then you've got, uh, oh, it looks like they've got speed form. Um, these ones are actually going to be leather. And they're, this is crazy because they're $200, or sorry, they're $220, $100 more than the other cleats. So uh, I'm not sure why they use leather. Um, so that's going to be pretty crazy. I don't know if I'll get that in just looking at that price point. There is also the UA Highlight RM. You guys have seen the arm cleats before. So it's a, a molded version uh, that's really low budget. $60 compared to um, that of the actual Highlight cleat, which is going to be $160. So it's $100 less than the Highlight Cleat, the Highlight RM. All right, these are just some of the training shoes. I won't really cover these. I will get into the gloves though. Um, so let's take a look at some of the gloves coming out. This is the Spotlight Glove to match the Spotlight Cleats. Um, I'm guessing that this is to replace, um, no, I was gonna guess it replaces the Swarm, but they actually have the Swarm 2 glove. If you remember, the Swarm 2 glove was one of my favorite gloves of all of last year um, because of the tight fit, the grip, and the compression. Um, so this seems to be the same thing, just new designs. Um, we'll see if they could even increase the fit and if they've improved, improved the grip on the actual glove uh, to make it more durable. But love the Swarm, which they came out with an all black colorway, which I don't see here. Uh, going back to the Spotlight. I'm not sure. This is a little bit more, about $15 more than the Swarm 2. Uh, we'll have to see how this is different. I really don't see how it's different except that it has heat gear on the back of hand for more compression and zero distraction. Um, I don't know how you can improve on the fit of this. I'm really surprised that this is $15 more. Um, we'll have to take a look at, at what that means. And then you've got the UA5 glove. This is their lightest glove. Um, it's like pretty much all heat gear, it gives you no protection, but very light weight. They also have youth uh, gloves in that size as well. Um, here's more gloves for you. These are all cold gear gloves. Uh, Cutters and Under Armour are one of the only ones that make a cold gear glove. So let's uh, take a look over here at the Combat. And this is the Fierce. This is their padded receiver glove, which they've, they've had. So they're coming out with the Fierce 6. And... Uh, Again, new designs, new palm, um, but it's still going to be like the same padded glove with the same silhouette. These are more chin straps that they have, speed form chin strap. This is brand new. Uh, it says it's lightweight designed with a speed form material. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the speed form material is. And you've got the game day armor chin strap. So this seems like it's going to be basically a soft cup. This seems like it's going to be a hard cup. Um, and then you've got the Game Day Armor Pro, uh, which is going to have a different look. Um, but I think it might have the same basic protection as the, as the regular Game Day Armor Chin Strap. So we'll have to take a look at that. Um, not sure exactly what that means. They've got the same chin shields 
that they've always had in the past over here. And then just some more of their accessories. They've got new designs for all of their sleeves, both their forearm sleeve and then also the, the regular arm sleeve. Here you see the hand warmer. They offer them in two colors, which I think might be the only manufacturer that does, um, you know, to the public that's not custom. So we we'll have to see, again, this is the team catalog, so I'm not sure if all these would be available at retail, um, but some good looks for you guys. Um, this is all stuff that they've had, so I won't go into it. Um, some more bags, so going up to the top, that's pretty much it for my Under Armour video. Hopefully you guys get a chance to check out my other videos as well. And remember, if you like my videos, to give me a thumbs up, share, tell your friends, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.